Hey guys, uh, Chris Kidrew with Sephora Agency, the agency with the funky eyebrows. So uh, I want to talk to you today about restaurant marketing. Uh, so if you don't own a restaurant, just click out of here. Um, so owning a restaurant is tough. You know, you built the place up, you train your employees, you watch the food quality, you watch the cleanliness. It's a constant battle. And uh, <clears throat> if you're not busy, you're wondering why. Because we were always told, as long as you have great food and great service and a clean place, you're going to be busy and people will come back. And that was true back in the day. But there are so many restaurants now, it is freaking ridiculous. And you're not com competing so much on quality as much anymore. Because there used to be a ton of terrible restaurants out there. Nowadays, a terrible restaurant goes out of business quick. Unless they're a front for something else, right? So what are you competing for? You're competing, you know, for space on the front page of Google. You're really competing for <clears throat> space in the memory of restaurant patrons. And their memory, well, I'm a restaurant patron. My memory is very difficult to gain space in and to live there rent free uh, because, you know, we've got Facebook ads, we got social media, we got television, we got our family stuff, we got all kinds of drama going on all around us, and we don't have time to remember every single restaurant. So when it's time to decide where to eat, how do we make that decision? You know, we, we look to our memory first, we might talk to the people that we're going to go out and eat with, you know, everybody might mention one or two restaurants, maybe nobody can make up their mind, so we need a reference, we need a list. We go to our phone screen or our computer screen, and we start reading off the list that comes up on there because that assists our memories. So if you're relying on the memory of patrons to remember you out of the hundreds of restaurants they've eaten at, that's that's a pretty tough gamble that you're taking there. Because even though you do have the three main things that they've always told us to have, clean restaurant, great service, great food quality, uh, if you don't have space in the memory of people, you need to at least assist their memory by being on the front page of wherever they're looking for a place to go eat, whether it's Yelp, whether it's an app about restaurants, whether it's Google, Yahoo, and Bing, you need to be there. Uh, we recently started doing some advertising for some different restaurants. They send their business pick up very quickly. One is a very well-known brand. A franchisee hired us. He saw his sales increase dramatically like the next day. Because his brand is so well known that people don't even have to click on his text ad. They just see the name and it sparks their memory. And it just adds him to the list of restaurants they're considering going to. He doesn't have to sell them on the idea of coming there. He just has to remind them that he exists. We have another small independent restaurant we've been doing the marketing for. Uh, they're seeing an increase, not dramatic, but a steady increase. Because people are clicking on the, the link, going to the website and learning more about them. People that didn't know they were there. People that never heard of them before because there's so many choices out there. So while we've done our job, we still have to think about the psychology of our customers. And what's going on in our customers' minds is that they're overloaded, they go out and eat, but they need your help reminding them of the good experience they had there before, and they need your help letting them know that you exist. Uh, so, uh, give us a call. We can help you out. Good luck out there.